Welcome back. It was just a huge pleasure earlier in the week to head to Newmarket to the British Racing School to spend a bit of time with this year's cohort on the Racing Media Academy. The Academy was set up last year and produced some wonderful results with so many placements and, and employees throughout the industry at a, at a high level already. Really pleased that Lee and I can be joined by Ashley Wichard, who you might remember from winning the Magnolia Cup last year and is now on the uh, Academy. And uh, Jack Reddy, who has uh, graduated from Liverpool University. Uh, at Hill University. Yeah, at Hill University yeah. last year, yeah, and, uh, and is on the course as well. Um, guys, how are you enjoying it? Yeah, it was a fantastic week, really good. Um, as I say, I graduated in media, film and television from Ed Hill. Um, and obviously with the obsession with horse racing that I've got, those two sort of just uh, fusion, it's like a fusion together for me uh, of those two things. So yeah, it was a fantastic week. Um, I loved meeting yourself on Monday previously and Lee and Lydia uh, later on in the week. It was, it was really good. Now, actually, Lee and Lydia actually put you guys to work. We had a great, <laughs> we had a great chat on Monday, but these guys, these guys got you working. Oh, I have so much respect for, for these guys because for me, it was the most challenging. Um, it took me back to the classroom where I was sort of sat there thinking what do I do and everybody else has got pen to paper and going for it so that was challenging and actually quite emotional um, but I feel like I've learned so much more from that situation because that was out of my comfort zone so you know this this has just been the best experience for me. There are quite a lot of people who have recently graduated or recently come out of school you've been working in the industry for, for a little bit of time and you won the Magnolia Cup as I was saying so for you, it's a slightly different experience, yeah. this, isn't it, to, compared to everybody else? Yeah, I, I mean, as I said, it, I'm coming from it from working in the industry. So to, to appreciate and understand what goes on behind the scenes, how, uh, how the, you know, the, the racing production is all put together was, I mean, it's so complex. And for you, Jack, so you love horse racing. Where did your interest in the sport really start so i looking back now i think it was my granddad he had his he had, often had his head in, in the racing post um, and he took me to to aintree we used to go on the thursday at the aintree meeting um and the fact that i could turn one pound into 20 or 30 whatever <laughs> whatever i did um i think that was i got hooked on that day mm -hmm. um that's where hindsight I, I know i got hooked on that day and um obviously i don't come from from a racing background like ashley um i i, I don't have much hands-on experience with the horse um, but I love reading the form, um, I love solving the puzzle, as it were. Um, so yeah, I don't come from that sort of background originally, but um, I'm quite happy to be in now. But it's hooked you in lots of different ways, has it? What, what's been different for you about this week? What have you been able to experience in the last few days that you hadn't been able to, to experience before? So, as I say, the hands-on stuff for mm -hmm. me. So we went to Dallam Hall, which is an incredible facility. Um, we've seen Perfect Power, um, Space Blues, some of the some of the newer stallions on their roster. So yeah, so obviously I've been in the classroom in university studying media, but then to to get that together with the hands on um, with the horse, um, I think that's given me a perfect blend to hopefully go on and uh, have a nice career in in the sport. So do you think there's a possibility that 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 is something that might might grab you more actually working more down the horse side of it, or are you absolutely set on coming and doing this? Um, I wouldn't be sure yet. I hope I can be an all-rounder in the end. Um, but yeah, definitely, I think um, I've got a lot of respect for for people like Ashley who are working with these animals every day. Um, and that re that respect's only been only been heightened this week by uh, obviously, as I say, going to Dallam Hall and seeing the care that these animals that, that these animals do receive. Um, so yeah, as I say, I hope to be an all-rounder in the sport by by the end. It's it, it's. I'm sure Lee will agree with me. These guys were an incredibly engaging group to yeah. to talk to and and spend a bit of time with yeah it's it's a it, from a selfish sense it's a wonderfully rewarding experience um because they they were such a great group of people they are such a a great group of people people who've come from uh different backgrounds in mm. terms of interest and, and knowledge in the sport you, you you've got um you've got people who've loved it all their life people like like jack who's had his nose in the racing post all his life people like ashley who actually spend days day-to-day -day experience with, with with horses to people who it's a relatively new thing but they have a a real interest in the sport and what was what was great from the session that we had on on thursday lydia and myself and lydia's just an incredibly good teacher um what was great was that they all wanted to learn and it wasn't just a case of us saying oh you're all wonderful 
you know we were we were trying to show them things that they would need to do in a in a racing media career we were pointing out where there was room for them to improve in in certain areas but they they took that on board um, and hopefully after all the sessions they've had this week with so many different people um, you'll feel that you've at least you know more now than you did before mm. To what extent, actually, for you, when you when you won the Magnolia Cup and there was all this attendant media interest and we were all ringing you up and getting it and you were great on camera, to what extent did that give you the the motivation to to go into sort of this this part of the industry to use your communication skills? I think I like to shed light on the stuff that you don't see as much. Um, obviously, most of the time I'm in the stables. Mm. Uh, so going into Sandown through the main entrance was a very strange experience. <laughs> it was like being in an airport. <laughs> I was like, where Turn am I? <laughs> so right. I go. Um, but I'd, I would love to be able to, with the skills I've learned, highlight more of the stable staff, more of what goes on with the horses. More of that day-to-day. Day. Yeah. yeah. All the hard work that goes into getting the horse to the races. You know. uh, I saw a, a piece that Michael Andrews, who works for the, for the Jockey Club, had, had done a very small stable taking a horse to the races, and it was absolutely brilliant. Mm-hmm. Just the, uh, and just the care that goes into getting one animal there. Yeah. But taking, taking it back to the basics, I mean, highlighting, you know, for instance, grooms spend a lot of money, their own money, on their grooming kits. Mm. So you see all these horses being turned out beautifully. But a lot of time, that's because the groom has gone and bought products for that horse, or for you know, for their job, um, and I don't think people are aware of that. And it's just little things that I think might make a bit of a difference. So you want to tell the story, and you want to tell stories that perhaps we're not telling enough yeah. as things stand. Yeah, because it, w- without the stable staff, you don't have racing. And, and it, but at the same time, you know, you have to have your owners and your trainers. But the racing, the stable staff are so important. And I think I'd just like to be able to highlight that. Yeah. People may remember that you took the knee before the Magnolia Cup. Yeah. And it generated a, a, a remarkable amount of, of reaction within the sport and outside it. Um, how do you feel about the reaction that that got? It was, it was overwhelmingly positive. Really positive. Really positive. I'd, I'd set myself up thinking, right, OK, big girl pants on because this might not go, <laughs> you know, pleasantly. Um, so you were pleasantly was, surprised? Yeah, yeah, and the the comments and just the support I've had since, yeah, it's been, it's been great. Funnily enough, what really struck me, and it was only Monday when I came to you, and you'd only been in a night, mm-hmm. um, was how you all seemed to be getting on so well. You were all pretty good friends within a few hours. Yeah, the groups, it's, as Lee was saying, it's such a diverse group. Um, obviously, me coming from from the north of England, we've got Michael also from north, and then we've got we've just got such a good mix, um, such a good mix of people, and um, I think we are going to keep in contact basically forever now. Um, as uh, Josh Happy Happy was saying last year's group, um, they they message all the time, they they network from between between themselves, so it's nice to have that support network of people who've been through the same the same as you. I don't want to sound like ridiculously cheesy, Lee. Yes, it's important for all of us that we get brilliant young minds in racing and cast the net as, as, as wide as we can. But there is something, if nothing else, that's quite glorious about the idea that you make friendships through this sport, you know, that it can, it can provide you with a shared love that, 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 get, that gets you loads more friendships. Yeah, it can create those, those strong friendships. Like I feel like Ashley, with their experience, working hands-on with the horse, and me, obviously, coming from the more media backgrounds, me and Ashley can bounce off each other. Mm. And then we've been able to help each other all week, basically, with questions. And we've got a few members of the group that, are just into the, the camera work and not the horse racing side at all, really. So we've been able to to uh, explain what a handicap means, for example, and things like that to those to those newer members. Um, are you feeling quite comfortable now on the sofa? Uh, I am, yes, actually. Yeah. Uh, have you, watched, rela- have you watched, relaxed into the? Yeah, I watched from the gallery. The scene. Um, obviously, I've seen a professional do it. So, uh, so who, yeah. Who? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, I'm feeling com- uh, comfortable. Excellent. Good. Right. Well, I'm off. Um, and I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you with uh, with Jack and, and Ashley and Lee. Um, they're going to take you to a break. There you go. Off you go. Camera two. Camera two. Camera two. Do you want to take it away, Ashley? Take, take, go on. Off you go. Take Thank you, to a break. you so much for watching Nick Luck on Sunday and. Uh, 
Jack is going to say bye. <laughs> We're going to take us to a break. I don't have the running order uh, to hand right now, uh, but I think it's the Hills Brothers, I think, are going to uh, take you through uh, after this break. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.